What is up, YouTube knife fans, steel addicts? Today we're gonna take a look at a different one of my knives. I think as uh, knife fans or knife hoarders, knife uh, collectors, knife aficionados, we might have knives like this that are oddities in our in our arsenal. You know, I say oddity because even though it does have a very useful design right here, it's very, uh, it's a tool, right? Very, um, precise looking tool. This is the, uh, BM-59 bayonet. So original M4, supposedly, that's what it says. And I'm reading off, um, some wiki, uh, for this, uh, bayonet right here. I don't know much about it besides what I'm going to read you. And that I like the way it looks. That's all I know, that I love the way it looks. So with that said, let's get into it. This was made in Italy. It says bayonet and sheet set from Italian Demo Demobile marked on the blade. So right now we're going to take a quick look at the sheath. Plastic. Still here so that it won't go forward. Still here. Nice belt loop. And your button snap right here. It's green. Has these little metal tabs so you can hold on to it. The bayonet slides in and out. It has like a retainer in there, like a little spring retainer. You could hear it scratching the bayonet right here. I don't care if it scratches it or not. It says USM8A1 PWH on the actual scabbard right there. Sheath. We'll take a look at the bayonet now. Beautiful bayonet. Bakelite um, handles. It's stamped right there, AEP 1965. Some machine marks right here, as you can see. This one I kept oiled. It's dull. I wouldn't do that on a on a razor edge knife, right, guys? So don't don't think I'm like, oh, don't get cringed by me running my fingers on that blade like that. It's a stabber, a piercer. That's what this knife is right there. Has your bayonet lug right here. And then it has your other, where the uh, muzzle of the rifle would sit. These knives, I think they're, if you put an edge on them, you know, I think it's a cool field knife, you know. Excellent field knife, excellent tool for what it is, designed for battlefield, right? Simple, fast, efficient, no zero design function right i mean um like uh for the user right like just a guard plastic handles boom knife bayonet knife it has no edge though that's what sucks about this one it'd be cool if it had an edge put an edge on that you could use it as a field knife right open your stuff your mres or whatnot as a blade thickness on the stock right here on that one put a focus there we go Oh, it's pretty cool. It's designed pretty cool. Pretty cool fighting knife. And I'm going to keep reading to you some of the information right here. It says the, uh, under the star, lower 1960, the producer's name, AEP, means Arsenale Ejercito Piacenza, Army Arsenal of Piacenza. Rare, very little information about this producer. So I guess it's very secretive about their, um, Knife production, and I guess this one's 1965, not 1960, but 1965. And from what I read, the um, BM-59 or AR-70 with the uh, USM-8A1 sheath, bayonet dagger, really cool. And it has Bakelite uh, grips right there, or uh, scales. Bake light, and then it has your um, stainless steel. That's all they say about it. But I don't think this is a stainless steel. I'm gonna say this is a carbon steel, parkerized, because I've seen some that are rusted, rusted through. Let's give it a quick size comparison here to um, another blade that that might work with this. This is um, 
11 and a half inches, just short under 12 inches. And we'll go with the uh, actual field utility knife, right? The K-Bar. There's like more usage on this than this, right? This knife itself just demonstrates your um, your capabilities as a piercer, right? As a war knife, as a no thrills, just in your face piercing. Let me know what you guys think of the BM-59. Bayonet dagger. Made in Italy. Until next time, guys.